scenario play out right before our eyes last Wednesday. America's Most Wanted stays in a role. They defeated Glenn Gilberti and David Young. AMW wants a tag title rematch. Gilberti searches for another roadblock, another team to stand in the way of America's Most Wanted, and he found that team in Sonny Siaki and Ekmo Fatu. If you'll notice, though, Mike, there's trouble between Siaki and Trinity, as there has been the last few weeks. He pushed her away coming down the ramp. Those two are just not on the same page. Ever since AJ Styles went kind of solo, so to speak, it's almost like they can't decide who the leader is of this group. And, and think about this, they never came to AJ's rescue early. Good point. Good point. Good point. Now the team of Cowboy James Storm and Wildcat Chris Harris. continues their quest, their quest for a match that, let's face it, they rightly deserve. The former World Tag Team Champion, that man, Chris Harris, his tag team partner, the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm, they have their sights set on a title rematch with Glenn Gilberti's tag team of Simon Diamond and Johnny Swinger. Don, it's nine weeks tonight since AMW lost the tag team championship and still no return match. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, if AMW takes Ekmo and Siaki out of this match, who can deny him a title match? There's no way Gilberti can deny him, because if he does, all it's gonna do is look like he's being a coward, that he's scared. This is the chance for America's Most Wanted to get right back in the title picture. Yeah, but by the same token, America's Most Wanted, under no circumstances here, can they afford a loss? Because let's face it, a loss here tonight, and who knows what the NWA board, who knows what the NWA matchmakers would think about that, but it would certainly move them down in the, in the tag team rankings. Absolutely, they'd go way down in the pecking order. Well, it was a great point that you made earlier about the body language of Trinity. They did look like a team divided. A week ago, the man in the ring, Sonny Siaki, battling with the Tennessee Cowboy here, James Storm Siaki, he bought in oh, nice to the plea of Glenn Siaki. Gilberti. Yes. But Trinity appeared to want no part of it one week ago, and judging by her reaction tonight, I don't think she's really that happy about it still. No, I'm with you, Mike. It's like she's just not enthused. It's almost like she she doesn't like her place anymore in this, in this group and, and, and doesn't feel a part of it or wants out or something. Storm goes for the drop kick and Siaki shrugged him off. Siaki kips to his feet and both men mid-ring showdown. Siaki applauding Storm. Ah, uh, well you knew Storm wasn't gonna buy it. Oh, now he raked him in the eyes. Obviously Gilberti was giving him some pre-match tips. Yeah, shortcuts on the part of Siaki, but the Matchup soon turned around here by Storm, who... Oh! Dave Storm nailed it perfectly, Mike! Unleashes the flying head scissors on Siaki and turns things over to his longtime tag team partner, yeah, the Wildcat, Chris Harris. Oh! Siaki on the receiving end of the inverted atomic drop by Harris on the side Russian leg sweep by Storm. The follow-up pin by the legal man Harris leads to... Oh, a two-count. Siaki fighting back. But Harris there unawares. Now, got the pink man, Ekmo Fatu, in the ring. 400 pounds of Ekmo Fatu, the tag team partner of Sonny Siaki. I don't care how good you are, Mike, when somebody that size, and we know his agility and what he can do, it's got to make you a little nervous. Ekmo Fatu challenging Chris Harris, who's fighting right back giving him a taste of his own medicine, trying to show him that he's not intimidated by the side. You're right, not taking a step back from the 400-pounder. Harris off the ropes, able to duck the clothesline. Oh, giving it right back, but you can't knock the top of that tree. Nobody's got him rocking. No! Oh, man. Lord have mercy. Wow. That just shows you just how big and strong Ekmo Batu is. Chris Harris gave up everything he could, came right off the ring right off the ropes and just leveled him with all the force that he had. Didn't phase him. 
Mid-ring scoop and a slam by Fatu. The follow-up cover by Siaki and Harris able to kick out. Oh, Wildcats got him. Siaki's got him up. Takes him up into the air. He's holding him there. Look at the streak. Harris has Siaki up. Siaki's got to be wondering what in the world would even put him down. Phenomenal show of strength. Oh, man. Crashes down off the high vertical suplex. Man, that was rock and roll. And turns things over to James Storm and AMW off the double team. Whoa. Teamwork. That's why they're three times. World Tag Team Champions fight today. They connect with the double drop kick, but Storm not able to put Siaki away. Ooh, Siaki. Desperation move, but it paid off. Right hand out of nowhere. Oh, look at there, Fatu. Oh, the referee's not paying attention, Mike. Look at that, just taking Storm's head and just trying to get into the ropes. Now he's disoriented. And now Siaki turns things over to Ekmo, and Ekmo Fatu in with a big right hand. Obviously all spare and love, war, and a tag match. Fatu takes Storm out by the Ooh. hair. Mid-ring scoop and a slam. Off the ropes and... Oh, man, drops the leg. Hit him with Here that leg is. drop. One, two... Oh, Storm fights out of it. James Storm digging down deep, using his leg strength that time to avoid the pin and kick out at two. What a headbutt in the corner. I know I said it earlier, Mike, and, and, I, and I'll say it again. AMW has to get through these guys if they want any chance of a title shot. If they lose to Siaki and Ekmo, Gilberti will just use that to bury them. Keep them away from Diamond and Swinger. That was the idea in the first place, you're right, to put another roadblock in the path of AMW in their quest to gain the tag title rematch. Siaki. Unique move here on the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm. Reaching through, sort of a, a unique half Nelson at the same time, reaching through, keying and hooking his wrist. Well, you know, earlier, Mike, you saw where, where Fatu Ekbo was, was taking Storm's head and trying to get into the road. Now, look at where the pressure that Siaki's applying. But Storm just fighting it, fighting it. Back up to his feet, and oh, duck the clothesline. Connects with a DDT. Of course, then after a match like this, though, would Harris, would Harris Storm in any condition for a title match? Man alive, this is a battle. You can see that Storm is disoriented. His tag team partner, Wildcat Chris Harris, is on the opposite side of the ring. And leaps across and made the tag. Hot tag to Harris. Well, Harris doesn't waste any time. Goes directly over to Ekbo just so he doesn't even think about trying to interfere. Whoa! Back, back body in, drop. Back Siaki down, punch for Ekmo Fatu. Full Nelson. Whoa, slam. You see the force. Look out. Big Ekmo from behind. Now, referee Rudy Charles should have come in there and put a stop to that. But what's he going to do? Get in the way of a 400 pounder? That's what I'm going to say. That's where you have the advantage with your 400 Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Man alive. Back body drop on the 400 pounder. That's how you topple that tree! He's got, got him! Follow up in! Look at Oh, man. Great back-to-back -back moves by Harris. And takes Storm Siaki takes up and Siaki over. Out. Down to the arena floor. Waiting for the Trinity. And you see, she just walks away. I don't even care. Did you read her lips? Yeah, she said, I don't even it. care. Up on top. Oh, Siaki from behind. Cut off Harris. Chris up on the top rope. Chris just hesitated up there, Mike, way too long. All of a sudden, oh. Ekmo and Siaki are in the driver's seat here. Oh, man, Ekmo's got him up. Oh, a little teamwork action. Pin attempt by Siaki on Harris. One, two. two. Oh, while Ken fought out. Got the shoulder up and two amazingly. Oh. Score back in. Kicks Ekmo out of the ring. Went for the super kick. Blocked by Siaki. Mule kick took him down. Yes! Drives him down, follow up cover. Here's the pin, here's one, one two, two. two. No, he fought out. How in the world did he fight out? And referee Rudy Jones has lost all control right here. As Ekmo just flies right into the ring and takes over. And now Ekmo's gonna use his own tag team partner, Siaki. 
to send him into the corner for the corner splash. Uh-oh, Ekmo measuring him. This is 400 pounds. Oh, great move by Storm. It backfired, and it's Spear. Spear, one, two, and now. No, two and nine tenths. You've got to be kidding. Oh, man, what a match. You see referee Rudy Charles say it was just this close. Oh, and Storm comes flying over the rope. Slingshot cross body block. Storm on Siaki out here on the arena floor. Reversal. Siaki sends Storm into the safety rail. Sonny Siaki. Trinity shoots the chair in. Well, Steel she is helping out. Wait a minute. She was she giving it to Chris Harris? I don't know. I don't know. She pushed me into the ring. Ekmo is there. Chris Harris is there. Chris Harris has got the chair. Chris Harris has got the steel chair. Looking to the crowd here at the TNA Asylum, man. And just nails Ekmo with it. Boom, he's done. Pin, down goes he's Ekmo. Done. The referee's out of position now. Trinity is helping him. Make up your mind, Trinity. Referee Rudy Charles distracted by Trinity. Siaki rolls into the ring. The, the ex-football player now. Well, the Harris has got Get him. Get up the cat of Tony. Look out, oh, David, Young. Minute, David Young. David Young. David Young. Gilberti's man, David Young. Siaka lamp two. No. Three, they did. The winners of the match, the team of Sonny Siaki and Ekmo. Fall two. David Young was Glenn Gilberti's insurance policy. There's nothing that David Young won't do to get on to get in Glenn Gilberti's good graces. Coming out here, AMW had it. And Siaki and Edmo score the win over AMW to the back. And Scott Hudson. Well, I hope you...